O'Leary. Quick snap off the top. Look at this wave bowling out of that reef. Oh! I love it when those sections just square up. Gabriel Medina up against Conor O'Leary and William Cardoso. Should be a really good fight here. All three surfers with some solid moments yesterday. Let's see how they perform out here. Medina getting things started nice and early. And launching into the air. Great control. Trying to ride out of that one. Doesn't quite bring it back around though. Yeah, it was interesting. He almost jumped off the end of that. It looked like he had full control. Uh, I'd almost give it a completion. As he just winds up, comes around for the quick alley-oop, spins the board around onto the float, comes down, throws it up, and goes to the forehand rope. I mean, just really solid surfing right there. Looking at it closer, it looks like he actually misstepped a bit off the back of the tail. Looking to turn that around here. Heat three around four. Just over 30 minutes remaining. Medina on the inside. This is weight number two. Looking to go to the air. Didn't keep that stance nice and open like he typically does. Yeah, definitely. And if he just kind of rounds out those edges and just kind of just tightens it all up, I think he's going to be deadly. And here goes William Cardoso. I'll send it back to you, Ron. William, having a look at this one. Driving up into the lip. Can easily take the advantage on the opening exchange, but... He'll be looking to do a, a lot better than just an average ride. This one's stretching out pretty nicely for the rookie, the veteran rookie. Nice pace wave. It's allowed him a lot of turns. He gets a, a solid finish there. That feels pretty good. The man they call Panda kicks off way down the line. And that'll be a positive start to this heat for him. But it just feels like with the, the firepower of Medina and even Conor O'Leary, William's going to have to find another gear here too. Well, he's done pretty well to get himself down the line in this event. And, you know, he had a, a solid hit run over there at Karamas. So the Indonesian leg has been treating him well. A little choppy that way. You see all the bump in the face, but he's pushing through. It's a couple vertical slams off the inside there. That wave just grew all the way to the corner. So William does well at... Put a number on the board. Back out to the takeoff zone now. The surfer from Cronulla in Sydney, Australia. Conor O'Leary up with a good looking wall stretching out in front of him. Looking to click into the magic form that saw him go all the way to the final in Fiji last year. He did claim Rookie of the Year honours. It's a tricky section to read. You can see there's a bit of bump on the face that does incredibly well with that section. Really unloading and a nice slice off the top there. Looking for a big finish now down the line. This has been a long ride. And Connor's had a couple of major turns. He steps off right there on the inside. So the same kind of distance travelled as William. What did you make of the turns? Do you think he, he got the better of the exchange between those two then? Comes into this thing, really just clicks off the top nice and quick. Almost gets caught between a barrel or a lip line, then comes around to this corner. Nice open face turn to reset as this wave literally was the gift that kept on giving. It just unloaded, just kept on giving it back to him. And you see it go through this rough part. So that's a lot of current pulling through the, the lineup as the tide's starting to suck out. And then he finds the lip line, blows the tail out right in William's face. Comes into the corner and he's not done yet. This wave just continued to rifle off down the line. It's safe to say that the waves are clicking in to that inside corner, which is something that the, the surfers have been practicing on quite a bit. And you can see the fins getting free right there. So he's adding flare and power, pushing those fins over the back. Great surfing from Connor. It looks like he's fired up, which is great to see because he's had a tough go coming into this end of the year so far. And now it looks like he's finally clicking in and this wave just giving him so much opportunity down the line. He literally met the lip probably eight times on that wave. Just bad luck, but it looks like that's turning around. Medina now trying to get himself in the mix because a couple of solid scores coming through for his rivals here. Bit of foam on the face. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult to find that freedom. And uh, Medina's opting out of this one. 24 and a half minutes to go. 
Cardoso opened up with a six-point ride here, Strider, and Connor O'Leary's about to bank a solid number two, so Medina's going to be up against it. The top seeds are being really put under fire by these uh, hungry competitors at the back end of the leaderboard. We're going to see out of Medina, he's really looking like he's got a flow to him, which I like. He doesn't look like he's forcing much, but just the wave kind of let him down here. So if he gets on a good wave, we're going to see some fireworks out of Medina in this heat. Not to, not to say that he, that wasn't a well-served wave, just didn't have the end that he wanted, so he kicked out of it. He's going to go reset. So supportive of the surf scene down here, breaking through back in the day in the momentum generation. Cardoso up once again. Already has a six and has a couple of big turns laid down already on this ride. His second wave finishes that one off nicely. This wave is going to be difficult to find the open face, but no problems for this man. Out in front once again. Is this one going to line up through the inside? Hangs back on the bowl so he can get a vertical approach in the pocket. Swings the tail, but goes down as a result. A little hung up there. So 22 minutes to go. Should still fetch some OK uh, numbers here just based on the strength of the outside work. This turn, pretty quick. Nice slap up there into the corner. That one was nice as well. So the wave starts out really good. Those three turns alone, that's one of the highest waves of the heat. Uh, you know, coming up to close to Connor's wave, but then this wave kind of is where it kind of slowed down for him. Uh, off the tail end here and drawing out the bottom turn a little deep right there. Put himself behind the eight ball. But quick snap off the top. I like this wave. I do. I think it was a, a good start. Just does so well at playing to his strength. Strengths, doesn't he, Cardoso? He, he doesn't oversurf it. It makes him hard to beat if he, if he can find the, the quality waves. He's generally going to deliver some uh, OK numbers. Unfortunately for him there, he didn't finish off that final move. That's going to hold him back just a little bit for single figures. So they do know the lineup well. But you're right, I think Owen's really pointing out the mistakes he made and trying to give Mikey some insight here. Medina up. And he has got a, a cleaner flow happening here in this fourth round heat, but hasn't yet tapped into a solid wave. This is maybe the one that's going to work for him. Has a good line through the inside, a clean face to work with. Digging in with a couple of quality turns, needs a solid finish. Places that board carefully on that falling lip and lands it. So that'll be Medina's best wave. Just over 19 minutes to go here. Nice and quick. Looks super clean on the rail. So far, you know, after, after his first tee, nice, clean, nothing catching really, you know, and that's something that it, it, it will show you that he's feeling good and freed up. And that's, uh, that's something that's really hard to do, to feel that freedom in the lineup, where you, you don't feel like anything's going wrong. And his timing is on point. Every turn pretty much dialed in. That was tack sharp right there. Feels like when you're watching this wave too, he's been fighting for the flow at this event. And even at Karamas, he had some brilliant big turns, but never really kind of finished his waves off. You think back to Fiji, when Medina's finding that flow, it's just effortless. He can traverse across really long sections with huge floaters. And in this event so far, he's just been really kind of, I think, trying to click into gear. And that might be the wave that does it for him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, these turns that he's... He's hitting sections and flying through, and, and the waves are cupping out, and he's, it's not bothering him. He's going through the transitions nicely, then reconnecting the rail seamlessly back up into transition floater. So the, everything that's happening there is all part of what's on screen there is flow. You know, and really, the ability to exercise and execute critical and radical maneuvers you know, and with an effortless flow, it's so fun to watch, and it's so appealing to the eye. I don't know, he doesn't look, I guess, as as sharp as we've seen him in years gone by. For a long-running left-hander, I expect a lot more out of him. That last wave is his best, a 6.6. .6. In the heat now, only needs a 3.91, but this man is trying to make life a little bit more difficult for him. Conor O'Leary, he can seize the lead here with a 5.4, and he's starting to really Click into some flow of his own. A couple of nice hits in the pocket, mixing up his approach. Swinging the tail there. Cutting back and, and now starting to load up for potentially a big finish. The wave doesn't serve it up. 
he gets out of there, but only needed a 5 4 to get himself in front. And did quite a bit of work on that one. Well, let's get to this replay. Look at this slam bow in the corner. Right in Gabriel's melon right there, just buckets. Gabriel had to look away. He knew he was going to get a little shower. Connor really lit this wave up, man. It was solid surfing. Nice, clean, fast, sharp. Big Luke Egan is up there just tapping his foot going, yeah, that's right. All right, here we go. That's the flow. What an inspiring character. Really taking the fight to plastic pollution here in Bali. And uh, we are all behind you. And Will and Cardoso enjoying the beautiful lineup here at Uluwatu at the moment. And he's trying to get himself back in the lead. Conor O'Leary, his last ride came through at a 7.3. A couple of big numbers for the Australian now. Cardoso looking for a 7.9 out of that one to jump in front. Well, Cardoso got out in front of this thing. And that was uh, one of his better turns of the heat. So I like this one too. Quick snaps up into the bowl. Finishes off on the inside. Gets out of there. So three solid turns. A little repetitive, but... Fired up. You saw him out there looking back, kind of splashing a bit of water. I think that was really just kind of an emotional, passionate moment for him. Cardoso on an insider here. Under priority, just trying to up the ante, make life a bit more difficult for Gabriel Medina. Not going to do it with that wave. Here goes the 2014 world champ. Into the barrel. He's found a good one here. Has to get moving down the line. Find some speed. Still in there. Still rolling. He comes out. Now has a big clean open face to deal with and goes on the attack. What kind of finish can he put on this one? Bit of foam on the face. It's going to make life hard, but he's going to hang on to it. So Medina covering a lot of distance in the barrel, still rolling through to the inside. Not done with this wave just yet. And stands on the tail. Is it going to stand up for him? Thinks about an air, but... You know what, he's he done a lot of time behind the curtain, expecting a decent number, chasing a 6-1-4, the best barrel we've seen. He's going to go excellent. That was insane. He had so much time behind the curtain and then saw the section coming and absolutely hit that gas pedal, riding that inside toe edge. You'll watch him through this wave. Watch this. He stalls into it, right? Finds himself the two time, finds the perfect little nugget. That's what we've seen so far. But then here, starts pushing on that front toe. And that's where that line comes in and flies through it. So does really well. Comes out, speed hack. A couple of down the line setup turns. Nothing really left on the wave here. It, it was that first part of it though that really, really got the juices flowing because when he pulled into that wave, that first part of the tube is what we've seen throughout this event so far, right? Those little tubes. We haven't really seen these deep bowls though. I mean, he really did enter into a part of that wave, just caverned out. So right there it starts to cavern. He's looking down the line. You see those, that front foot is deep on that rail. Those toes are pushing. You see him move his foot back there? That's because that foot was all the way up on that rail, pushing hard, and that's where you control the barrel ride. It's that nice snap off there. That's really the last turn of consequence on there. And well, his manager sees uh, his dad there, excited, and rightfully so. A beautiful ride. Pretty mellow though, quite docile. They won't give you too much trouble, unless you trouble them. But Cardoso now, the heat is on for this man. The rookie, coming off the back of a solid finish at Karamas, wants to keep the momentum. Needs a 7.9 out of this one. Good looking bowl. Conditions starting to turn up, and the world's best are flaring. Cardoso just finding a solid rhythm, staying close to that pocket, and that is a solid ride. Puts his hands up, makes the appeal. Will it be enough? We've seen some pretty solid surfing in this heat, and it's going to be close, but it's not 100%, is it? He's chasing a pretty big score. And, and he does well to attack this wave. Comes off the bottom. Pushes the fins out pretty hard right there. That more of a setup snap. This one, a nice carve into the bowl. So actually mixing it up there. Pushes the fins along the lip. Pretty much anchoring off that back foot, though, which is pretty solid off the end there, too, though. I mean, he's asking for it. 
It could go either way. A lot of variety. Well, this man's setting the pace in the heat with that nine-point ride. And now he's trying to get rid of a 6.6. Bit of bump on the face there. He has to plow through. But he's going to get an opportunity to make up more points on the inside. Ducks into the barrel again. Loving the racetrack section here at Uluwatu with Gabriel Medina. And a huge roundhouse to finish this one off. Well, I, I think it's safe to say he's found the flow. That he's clicked into action. That turn, the second turn he did on that wave where he came out and he twerked it back into the bowl where he turned his shoulders down and really turned into it. I haven't seen that out of Medina in a while. I liked it. Well, let's have a look at Medina's rod again. So it gets the speed line float. This is the turn I'm talking about right here. Rah, right back into the corner. I like the way he held the line and pushed all the way to the end. Even off the tail end of that turn, you saw the fins coming out of the water. And then ducks under the cover. Big cutback, rebound, finish. A great sequence and variety on that wave. A busy heat, plenty of waves being ridden. Connor O'Leary. He's trying to get rid of a, a 7.3. We are waiting on a number for the Brazilian Cardoso, the rookie in this situation. Really was surfing well and starting to get back to the kind of form that saw him claim Rookie of the Year honours last season. But he's going to fall short here. He needed a 7.34 in the final stages. And this one is coming to a close. So Cardoso continues his good form. He's going to be making a big jump up the ratings. But Gabriel Medina still on track and a shot at taking the ratings lead here at the Uluwatu CT.